Hey guys, what's up? It's Xerox Nova here, bringing you guys another video today. Uh, it's been a, quite a while since I've seen you guys. Um, it's been a lot going on that I really am going to be kind of explaining in a vlog here coming up soon, so you guys will uh, get all the information from that. But today we're going to be talking about why I probably won't be getting Advanced Warfare. There's been a lot of videos and trailers and different, you know, big YouTubers that have put up a lot of footage from the multiplayer, and it's just kind of turned me off from the game, to be honest. I mean, granted, there are a few little cool things with the directed energy weapons and some of the EXO abilities and stuff like that, but to be honest, like, that stuff that I feel should stay in Halo. But besides that, there's three main points that are really kind of turning me off from the game so far, and all of them are things that are returning from Black Ops 2. And that would be the pick 10 system, the score streaks, and the uh, the three lane map system. So the pick 10 system, or now the pick 13 system in Advanced Warfare, is something that's really kind of aggravated me because in you guys, anybody that's played Ghost would know that although you do kind of you know get rewarded with extra perk points if you take off certain other aspects of your class. You're not quite as limited as you were with the pick 10 system because A, you can only have up to 6 perks total, and B, when you got rid of something for your class, besides perks, you had to use the wild card. So that wild card also costs an extra point, so you're wasting a lot more points that way versus, you know, taking off an equipment and automatically being able to use that towards another perk and that type of stuff. So it's just, it just depends on the system. I'd much rather have it the way it was in Ghost than uh, Black Ops 2. The next issue that uh, I had was the score streaks. I do like the way that uh, Black Ops 2 had their score streaks as far as being able to just put the three on your class versus having to put them on, or I'm sorry, putting them on your character and not your class. Putting them on your class for each one kind of aggravated me a little bit. Um, just because I didn't like having necessarily like to keep track of which class I had which kill streaks on and that type of stuff. But I did prefer point streaks and ghost versus score streaks in Black Ops 2, which are unfortunately the score streaks part of it is returning in Advanced Warfare. So you know, assists get you so much score, capturing stuff gets you so much score, kills get you so much score, which can be somewhat helpful because you can get them a little bit faster, but it, I think it makes it a little too easy and try to keep track of what all helps you get uh, your score streaks and how far away and stuff you are like that kind of is what aggravates me. Whereas in Ghost, at least you know that you know your kills get you a point. Um, if you have Hardline on, it helps you get there a little bit faster. Two assists count as a kill, and then assisting somebody on uh, capturing a flag or that type of stuff in Domination definitely helps, but um, outside of that, like I said, I would much rather prefer it to be the way it was in Ghost, and the last problem I have with Black Ops 2 and what's returning in Advanced Warfare is the three-lane map system. I don't like the predictability of it at all. The three-lane map system, for those that don't know, is there's a lane down the center of the map, and then a lane on either the left and the right side. There's not a whole lot of verticality, there's not a whole lot of uh, randomness, and I don't like things being predictable in Call of Duty. I can't stand it. I much rather prefer using tactics and not knowing where people are coming from and being able to, you know, have it be more of a challenge than automatically knowing exactly where people are coming from. It uh, definitely is a little bit easier to, uh, or a little bit more fun to have to employ some tactics. But uh, that's pretty much everything for today, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. I'll probably end up playing Advanced Warfare at some point. Might bring you guys a little bit of footage. If I play it and like it, then I might end up getting it, but for right now, the next game you guys are going to be seeing on this channel is actually a lot of Destiny, which comes out next week. Um, so uh, I think it comes out in about nine days, if I remember correctly. So uh, yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed it. Uh, have a great day, guys, and I will see you guys next time.